calling, I'll come calling after you. It's five o'clock in the morning here in Ardrahan in North Cork. And the only people up at this hour are those who can't sleep and those who claim they can cure them. On the Burns family farm in Duhallow, they milk the cows in the dark to get milk that's rich in melatonin, a hormone that's central to sleeping patterns. For Gerald Burns, producing lullaby milk means getting a day's work done before most people are even out of bed. What time is it now? It's uh, about half five or so. It's half five now. So you have been up milking since? Half four. So and how often do you do that? Twice a week. Um, are you a sucker for punishment? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a tough boss. Yeah. <laughs> it's half four now, but it, um, during May and June. It's yeah. actually earlier in the morning. Uh, so it's, the important thing for lullaby is to have it have milk before daybreak. So you have to ensure the cows are gone through before okay. daylight hits. Do the cows mind getting up this early? Uh, not really, no. Do you mind it? No. No, you get used to it. You get used to it. You, to start, all right, the first few years we were at it, it was, uh, you know, you'd be finished at 4 a.m. You don't really know what to do for the rest of the day. Now for the science bit. Finnish researchers discovered that cow's milk has four times more melatonin at night than during the day and that this nighttime milk can help to improve sleep patterns. So the Burns decided lullaby milk would be a useful way of adding value to their dairy and cheese business. With the nighttime milk safely delivered to the creamery, I was looking forward to sitting down with the family for some breakfast. Here we're a family of about 180 acres and uh, we're making about 120 cows. At the moment only about 96 cows. We carry all year round, so some of them are dried off, some of them will come in, in just in time for Christmas. So you've no downtime? No. Mary Burns is well known for her Ardrahan farmhouse cheese. But how do they get the idea for the nighttime milk? Just actually before my late husband Eugene died, he had started to look up and the research he'd read of uh, that was done in Finland with the nighttime milk, as it's called there. I was so occupied with the cheese at that stage, I wasn't interested in the, in, in, in the lullaby milk anyway. So then my, my son, Gerald, came home from college and he decided that I must look into this nighttime milk. It looks good, the research is there, it's very, very positive research. So really, it's more Gerald's project than mine. They started producing the lullaby milk on a small scale, but felt that the idea had a lot of potential and needed a bit more expertise. I got into a course in UCC, speciality food production course, and it was just top class. And they started it off on packaging was the first thing that we had to change, and just general marketing. And we bottled in Norcar Co-op. Initially, when we started out, we were bottled here at home, and um, what they'd do in five minutes in Norcar, we would take about three hours here at home. Basically, they rearrange that day so that when our milk goes in in the morning, the lot of my milk, it's put straight through the plant first. So there's no fear at all of um, any contamination from other milks or anything. What you get on the shelf is lullaby. Currently, the Burns are producing and selling a few hundred litres of lullaby milk a week. But Gerald feels it has the potential to sell much more. I suppose nothing takes off overnight. We're, we're really only at it four years. So it's still very early days. From the feedback from our customers that we have, the potential is phenomenal because the amount of people out there with trouble sleeping is huge and I mean this is a 100% natural product that will help trigger sleep. Insomnia is a huge problem today which we GPs deal with on a daily basis and um, it's a very difficult thing to sort out sometimes and uh, people spend all their lives with, with sleep difficulties that we really never overcome so I'd be always uh, trying to use more natural methods and changes of lifestyle to overcome it rather than resorting to, to drugs. Do you find the lullaby milk works for you? I do, I find it very good. Yeah, I, do, I really do. It's, an enjoy, it's a very nice tasting milk as well. So do you sleep better after taking the milk? I have to say I do, yeah. Needless to say, local shoppers in Canturk are keen customers of the nighttime milk. We would get a lot of people that would ring in to make sure that we had it in stock. Even in the end of the last number of months, now we've had to actually give it a, a more prominent, prominent place in the shelf as well. Like, you know, it has brought more down to a customer eye level. 
and that has proved him that his ceiling actually better even so we give it a more prominent space on the shelf as well. So. Must be an awful lot of sleepless people in Canturk, are there? <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know about that, no. But, uh, it sells well. Very well, very, very well. Okay, an exceptionally good salesman. And we can see even from our sales records that we can see that it's growing year on year as well. Lullaby milk is available in supermarkets all over the country and the plan is to go even bigger. It's only twice a week we're bottling. Um, so what we're hoping to is get up to seven days a week. That would be the ultimate. If the business does get that successful, will your farm be able to supply enough milk for the cheese and the lullaby milk? Um, to be honest, hopefully not. I think at the moment we've gotten to a place where we have three products and there's, there's one going to America, quite a lot to Britain, and then we've lullaby milk and top it. So I suppose maybe just, just get things moving a bit more smoothly would be the, the first goal. And then wait for the next light bulb moment. Yeah. Well, if we, if we start selling enough lullaby, we can turn off the rest of the light bulbs and just go. <laughs>